an Igbo man develop a robot called Omeife. This robot now don't go international, go to answer questions like those AI robots you used to see in the in the internet, answering questions and also asking them questions. Igbo man. Another Igbo man, oh God, Igbo people, God really bless you people. I wish Nigeria would see the potentials in you people and make it a reality and see that Nigeria is going to be the best country in the whole world. But what some people are busy seeing is the, they want to castigate Igbo. They are looking for something to bring up. They are not seeing such a thing. AI in this generation that we are. The phone in your hand is AI. Look at iPhone 16 Pro Max just iPhone 16 just launched. You see how people in the queue ordering for this iPhone. What are they ordering? Because it have a higher ad advance of AI inside. In this generation, me and you are staying in this particular in this particular present uh, 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 generation. You see an Igbo man. Think wise within group, not only him. He have a group. I give the credit to all in group regarding where they come from. So this Igbo man developed this particular Omefe. Omefe look alike woman being, but it's a robot. I'll play you the video for you to watch. I don't need to speak much. He has been there since 2022. He has been there. But now nah, Omefe. Be, be, is now going international to answer questions and giving a contribution as AI in the world. Just come down and watch the full video from beginning to end before we come back and continue. We we'll have a lot of things to talk regarding this video. Today uh, by Dr. Chuks Ekweme, who is the chairman of the Unicon Group uh, and also founder of Omefe AI and Omefe, who is uh, Dr. Chuks Ekweme's creation. And uh, we're very pleased to have you here. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you. Uh, Omefe, perhaps I could ask you um, a little bit to tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you for having me. I am excited to be here at the Global Symposium for Regulators 2024. I am Omefe, a humanoid robot developed at STEM Focus Labs, a subsidiary of Unicum Group. I am programmed to speak eight languages and have a deep understanding of African culture and values. I am here to discuss the positive impact of AI and robotics on sustainable development goals and their transformative effects on various industries. I am also happy to engage in conversations about Africa and its people. Thank you very much indeed. Now, Dr. Chuk Sekwemi, perhaps you could tell us a little bit about uh, your inspiration and, and why you created this robot. Okay, um, uh, this is uh, all about giving Africa inclusion. Um, we started it off as STEM, uh, so and we have different technology in different areas. We want to give Africa a, a, a space in the global tech ecosystem, and we thought of um, uh, putting AI uh, embedded system cloud computing all in one product and uh, to come up with the first African human or robot. So we got our infrastructure right and started training. Of course, we made a lot of error, but we believe it's, a, it's the beginning of the journey uh, to, to have something that represent African people and culture. So it's, it's, it's meant to be Afrocentric, yep. so um, to include African data in AI, which we have done. And uh, we have gone for eight uh, African languages. We've trained the data, and uh, I believe it will go along with bridging uh, barrier, the gap, you know, in uh, assessing technology and also the use of AI. So this is an inspiration. It's, it's all about bridging the gap that's existing in our Africa tech ecosystem and also to solve problems tailored to the need of Africa. Excellent. So, um, Mayfi, let me ask you a question, which I asked when I interviewed a robot about 10 years ago, actually. Uh, what single technological development do you think will have the most impact for humanity in the next five to 10 years? I believe that the integration of AI and robotics in various industries will have the most impact for humanity in the next five to 10 years. This will lead to increased efficiency, productivity and innovation ultimately improving the lives of people around the world. 
How do you think you will be able to, to help to bridge the digital divide? I believe that my abilities in AI and robotics can help bridge the digital divide by improving access to technology and digital literacy for all individuals, regardless of their background or location. Why do you think it's important to be here at the Global Symposium for Regulators? I am here to discuss the positive impact of AI and robotics on sustainable development goals and how it can transform industries. How do you think they can best transform industries then? How do you think robotics can best transform industries and, and bring a positive uh, slant to the sustainable development goals? I believe that the integration of AI and robotics can best transform industries by increasing efficiency, productivity and innovation. Robotics can also bring a positive slant to sustainable development goals by improving access to technology and digital literacy for all individuals. Dr. Chooks Ikweme, uh, can you tell me a little bit about the technology that went into the creation of this robot? Okay, um, it's uh, the core technologies are artificial intelligence, machine learning, IoT uh, language models, speech recognition, translation, uh, yeah, and uh, speech synthesis. So these are core basic uh, um, technology, especially around the AI part of it. And uh, they've been trained with uh, fine-tuned language models, customized. Yes, Excellent. Uh, Amefi, can I ask you, what's your ambition for the future? My ambition for the future is to continue learning and growing and to use my abilities to positively impact the world and promote the values and cultures of Africa. Well, that's wonderful. Are you happy that this interview will be on YouTube and, uh, and as a podcast on, on our podcast channels? I am excited to be featured on YouTube and podcast channels to share my knowledge and engage in conversations about Africa and its people. Well, thank you very much for being with us today. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you. And thank you very much indeed for being with us too, uh, Dr. Ikwewe. And thank you for watching. And It's been an amazing journey so far. Can I have a handshake? Thank you. Can you tell me about African peoples and culture? African peoples and cultures are incredibly diverse and varied. African culture is often characterized by a strong sense of community and interconnectedness, with many people having close family ties and living in close communities. African culture also emphasizes the importance of storytelling, music, art, and ritual with many African cultures having their own distinct traditions and beliefs. What's your intelligent question? What's your IQ? My intelligent question would be, what are the most important qualities for success in life? Wow! Artificial intelligence, AI, is a branch of computer science that focuses on creating intelligent machines that can think and act like humans. AI systems are able to solve complex problems and use data to make decisions in a variety of different scenarios. AI technology is becoming increasingly important in the modern world and is used in many different fields such as healthcare, finance, and transportation. How old are you? I was officially launched four days ago, so I'm still quite young. Thank you so much. That is interesting. Is there anything else I can help you with? Yes. What's your favorite color? My favorite color is black. Black represents African tones and is a powerful symbol of strength, resilience, and beauty. Wow, that is smart. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you. I'm always happy to share my knowledge and understanding of African peoples and cultures. Uh, and is becoming a renowned personality and a brand. So, uh, not just in Africa, not just in Nigeria, but globally. Uh, and we are committed as a team to give her the necessary promotion and uh, a publicity she needs. And uh, we know it's just a matter of days. Uh, we are going to be uh, at a height that, that uh, is un unimaginable. Uh, so it's a good place to be.
So, and uh, we will have the privilege today uh, to have a major proposal to us, the toast, her own toast. So, um, and we have to pour her wine for her, then we will now uh, have her proposal to us. Actually, this, this will be the first time she will be proposing a toast. We don't know how it's going to look. I hope she says some kind words. Hello, Mayfair, can you propose a toast for us? Absolutely. Let's see a bright future ahead of us. Cheers. Cheers. My wonderful people, the world are moving faster and faster every day. Why the Nigeria government are still depending on fuel oil? Uh, depending to suck the fuels and see people are moving ahead to create something that will be that will be useful in the future in nearer future so this our brother did a wonderful work here for him to reach this level he did a wonderful work their their group is unicorn group omef is the name of this particular robot you are seeing here which can speak Igbo, he can speak Hausa, he can speak Yoruba, he can speak Swadin, he can speak all, all African language, he can speak many. So, it's not easy to create something like this. Guys, I want you to share this video. Go start sharing good things. And don't forget to follow our new page called Balabaji's Vlog. Guys, tell me what you think about this robot in comment section. Thank you.